Hello chart noters. In this video, we are going to learn how to search for and create snippets. A snippet is a collection of text you can use to insert into your note. It could be just a few sentences or a page long template. They are also known as dot phrases. You can create your own snippets or use snippets created by the chart note team and other users in the community. You can explore snippets in a few different ways. One way is to start by typing a keyword in the search bar here on the left of your screen. Once you find a snippet you'd like to use, click the snippet to insert it. The snippet will automatically insert into the SOAP section your cursor was in prior to selecting your snippet. If you want the snippet to go in a different section, just click into that section prior to selecting your snippet. Another way to use a snippet is to type the at symbol in the section of the note you'd like to edit followed by the keyword or abbreviation. This displays a list of suggested snippets. Click the snippet you would like to insert. Any of the customizable fields in the snippet can then be edited in your note. The snippets section of the sidebar gives you access to your top 10 used snippets, making it easy to find those you use frequently. To discover more snippets in the chart note or community library, or create your own, visit the library section on the top right menu. To create your own snippet, click Snippets to expand the options, and click My Library. Once you are in your library, click the green button Create Snippet on the right side of your screen. This opens a new snippet. Required fields are a title and abbreviation. For example, for our snippet, title could be hypertension and abbreviation could be HTN plan. You have the option of labeling your snippet with a category. So for example, here we are going to label cardiology. This field can be helpful to other users when finding new snippets in the community or to yourself when searching and organizing your own library you can select multiple categories. The next optional field in your new snippet is SOAP. You can label your snippet to help yourself or community users know in which section of your note this snippet can be used, as well as for library organization. You can choose to share your snippet with the community or keep it private as well. In the text box, you can type as well as insert the customizable fields to create your snippet. So here we are going to type patient here for hypertension follow-up. And then the next line, taking the following medications. And then we're going to use the input field, which acts as a fill in the blank in a way. And the customizable field editor is on the right hand side and you can see all of the options for the customizable field there. The next line is labs in the last year, and we're going to use the drop down field. And there's a couple of different ways you can do that, but here we are going to show how to automatically create options. We're going to type yes slash forward slash no, select the text, and then click drop down. This automatically creates the options yes or no. You can select which one is at the top, which one is automatically uh, your selection. So the next line is medication side effects. And we are going to have two optional fields here, none and dizziness. So we want none to be enabled and we want dizziness to be an optional field that is disabled. Uh, so to make it disabled by default, you can do this either by double clicking in the text box or clicking the checkbox on the right side here in the customizable field editor. So check out our documentation to learn more all about the customizable field you can use in your snippets. Once you are satisfied with your snippet, click save. When you hit save, it will bring you to your snippet library automatically. Here you can preview, edit, delete, and duplicate your snippets. 
You can also discover snippets in the community or chart note library and add them to your own library. Snippets created by the chart note team or available in the community library can be edited once you add them to your own library. The community library snippets are created and shared by other users. These are not available to you automatically unless you add them to your own library by importing. When you see a snippet you like, you can click preview. And from there, you can import it into your own library. If you want, you can edit the title and abbreviation. Once in the snippet editor, you can customize the snippet to your liking, just as you would if you were creating your own.